Dr. B here, um, and we are doing a series on the Mentally Strong Method. So the Mentally Strong Method is a cognitive behavioral approach that I created. I am Christy Bundekumar, psychiatric nurse practitioner with a doctorate in healthcare education. And it is my passion to share the Mentally Strong Method with the world because I truly believe that we can all learn how to be mentally strong. I, I created this method so that I could um, basically do cognitive behavioral therapy on myself um, as I was going through some pretty significant hardships. I've lost two children. Um, I adopted five children and there was a lot of reactive attachment, PTSD stuff going on with those children. In the midst of all this, um, is how I created the Mentally Strong Method. So we're going through this series of the Mentally Strong Method and it is, um, the three words that I want you to remember are think, organize, and choose. And the first element is all about thinking, getting those thoughts out on paper, making those connections. Um, elements two and three are about organizing and making choices of what you're gonna do with what what's going on with you, right? So this series, we're gonna you know, touch on each of those uh, categories. And today is one of my favorites, um, but actually the one I hate the most, and that it is negative self-talk, okay? It's got a category all by itself. And I don't care if you've never struggled with depression or anxiety or anything, um, I guarantee you, you have some negative talk that goes on in your, your mind. And so this is where um, the whole life coaching industry has put um, all of its emphasis. Like if you could just think positive, uh, your whole life will change. And there's some truth to that. And I, I read a lot of self-help books. I support the life coaching industry. We are training mentally strong coaches. Um, so this is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. Um, but this is my love-hate category, right? I love it because absolutely everyone needs it. I hate it because I still struggle with it. I've been working on myself for 20 years, using the Mentally Strong Method for a solid 10 years, and I still have days where that negative dialogue inside my head is winning the, the battle for, for my attention. Okay, and, um, and so what we do here, and the reason that it is so important to keep this separate than everything else, is that we all have it, it's never going to go away 100% of, um, 100 percent, 100 percent of the time, right? You're always going to have days where you are thinking negatively. The more we can change that, the stronger um, our core can be to be able to work on some of the other categories. So, um, in your negative self-talk, uh, you know we all, you know, there's lots of life coaching books out there. There's a lot of positive self psychology as a whole. Um, program in and of itself to deal with how do you change those negative thoughts to positive thoughts? How do you um, stop thinking negative and think positively? So I think, you know, you have to feed it. I talk about, you know, which side are you going to feed, the negative or the positive? And whichever you're feeding is what is going to, you know, be prominent. Um, and you know, I also have this percentage scale. So when, when, I, when you identify a negative self-talk, um, I'll ask you, what percentage of, of that do you actually believe? And I'm hoping that you say less than 50%, right? I would say that is a healthy, normal, um, balanced, positive, negative uh, dialogue inside of your head. But oftentimes people will say, oh, I believe that 100% or I believe that 80, 90%. That, is, that means that your brain is using a lot of energy and fueling into these negatives. And we all have positives. And if we focus on the negative, that is what is going to be evident. That's what we're going to see. That's what we're going to find environmental things to confirm, right? So what we have to do is take our energy and shift it to the positive. And the reason I do this percentage is because everyone else just says, oh, just think positive. Stop thinking negative. And that's, for me, impossible. Like, because... You know, the reality is some of the, th the negative things I say about myself are actually true, right? And so how do I compensate for that? How do I focus on the positive? How do I um, make that more of a balanced dialogue inside of my head rather than focusing on the negative? 
Okay. So, you know, I want you to take your negative thoughts and, you know, think about what, what are the opposites of that? What do you truly believe? And one that I, I openly share all the time is when I was young, I thought I was stupid. Right. And, um, now when I get triggered with that, and that's a negative thought, you know, it doesn't matter how hard I try. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I can't do this. Right. That's the negative dialogue that any of us can revert to. Right. Um, but sometimes we're in a space that it's, it's impossible to, to shift that completely and, and say, Oh no, I'm smart. I'm this, you know? And so, you know, to have that balanced approach, I say, you know, and even on my bad days, I'd say, you know, that is maybe 30, 40%, right? But then I focus on where am I intelligent? I'm intelligent in this area, in this area, and I can compensate. I know what my weaknesses are, but I can learn and compensate and improve and grow, right? And so you've got to take um, those negatives and be realistic in them, um, shift them to a positive. So if you truly have a lot of uh, perseverating, negative, ruminating thoughts in your head and you truly believe them and, and, I, and all I can get you to say is 99%, then I need you to fuel that 1% but you got to give up at least 1% because again, this is a choice and this is where everything about your mental health is a choice. And you know, maybe what has happened to you, we talked about in another video trauma, or, you know, maybe you're predisposed and have um, a mental illness. Um, but it is still a choice on how you move forward and deal with that. Right. And we all have negative thought and that's why this, this category is for everybody. We all have those negative thoughts. Where are you putting your energy? Uh, and we've got to get that, those negative thoughts less than 50% for sure. Um, but the, the uh, more you grow in your mentally strong journey, the less that percentage should be of those negative thoughts. You know, um, it's just like going to the gym. You have to practice it. You know, people come in and, and into the office and they want to go through counseling and say, you know, this is how I feel. I want you to make me feel differently. It's actually work. It's not. And, and we do medication and, and medication definitely helps. I always say, if you are trying your hardest and you are not getting anywhere, not even small steps in the right direction, you probably should allow yourself to be evaluated for medication because there's no reason you deserve to be happy. You deserve to know the positive things about you. You, de you deserve to know your worth. And so um, take some time to really think about this. Um, we all have negative thoughts. There's tons of resources out there in the life coaching community um, and positive psychology on how to think positive. Take some time to do that but do it with grace and balance. And that's where I, I believe the mentally strong method is different. It's about grace and balance. And yes, try to be positive all the time and do, you know, but the reality is life keeps just throwing things at me personally. And I, I'm sure at you as well over and over again to challenge that. And I have bad days. I have days where I don't want to think positive <laughs> and that's a choice. I do it sometimes, but it's a choice. And if you, are choosing to be negative all the time, you've got to acknowledge that that's a choice too. And I challenge you to choose to be positive as often as you can. And the more you choose to do that, the easier it becomes, the more you actually believe it, right? You know, just flood yourself with that positive psychology and, and you know, the things out there that, but take them with a grain of salt. There's some books that I've read that it, it just really irritates me as someone who truly believes with, um, that we all are a balanced, uh, human being, but you know, there's some books that'll say, Oh, if you just do X, Y, and Z, you will, um, positive things will happen. And that, that is not a reality. But what is a reality is the more you can do that and think positive, the more positive things will happen. But sometimes you'll be positive, positive, positive. You'll be on a roll and productive and feeling great. And then life just boom, 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 hits you with negatives. 
and we always revert back to that negative dialogue in our head. Um, but the more you practice the positive and acknowledge that um, the negative, when you are in that dialogue, it's a choice. And you've got to keep trying to choose to, to get out of that dialogue. Um, and, and making small steps to bring that percentage down to a balanced approach of the positive and negative and, and truly having insight into who you are, your purpose, your worth. You are mentally strong. I truly believe that. That's why I move forward with you know, this YouTube channel, um, why I move forward with all the things that we're trying to do at Mentally Strong, because I'm trying to empower you to truly believe that. Believe that you are mentally strong. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on all our social media, get on our website and really see what we're doing and be a part of it. Be, start your mentally strong journey because I truly believe that you are mentally strong.